Hi guys, this is Sharon with Crafty Acres and today I'm going to show you how I plant my vine crops. Today what I have is just a few items that I like to use when I do it. We're going to start out with some Blacktail Mountain watermelon as well as some Sugar Baby watermelon. I've got a cream of Saskatchewan. It's got a creamy um, inside to the watermelon instead of the bright red. And I've had that one, it's pretty good. Crimson Sweet. I have some Honey Rock Cantaloupe, some Market More Cucumbers, and a Boston Pickling Cucumber. And if we have enough, I'll do some zucchini here. Now, what, the way I like to do mine is I like to do them in a bigger pot. I normally start everything in a six pack, but I like to do these in a bigger pot because with vine crops, a lot of people say you can't transplant them. That's not true. I've done this for a long, many, many years. This is the way my dad showed me how to do it, to get a jump start on them. We get a jump start in the basement when we were kids with our vine crops and then put them in the ground as soon as it was warm enough to put like tomatoes in and then your vine crops are growing and you'll be having your cucumbers and watermelon sooner. And they take a long time to grow and nobody wants to wait for them. So you might as well get a jump start if you can. And so what, the way we do it, the way my dad taught me was we used a, we use a um, garden, a potting soil, and then we put the seed start and mix on top, which I have videos for both of those. I make my own because we grow so much. And so I mix them, mix the seed starts mix with the potting soil and put them in the cups. And then, uh, and then I take my seeds and he always said to go ahead and soak your seeds. So I soaked my seeds for about an hour. And what we did was we took some water bottles just regular water bottles, cut the top off, and we'll just soak however many seeds we think we're gonna need. I think we're gonna do seven pots of each, and we're gonna have two, I'm gonna put two to three seeds in each, each pot. And that should be, that way they won't be too crowded. I can get this open. See how many I have in here. There, I flung two, they stuck to my finger. I think that's 14 in there. And I'll do that to the rest of them. The rest of my seeds. Okay, now we're back. Uh, we've had our seeds soaking for about an hour. I wouldn't let them soak longer than that. About an hour is all you need. And the reason we soak them is just because they have a harder shell and that just helps to get them germinated faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my Crimson Sweet Watermelon. And the easiest way to do this is just kinda get them out here. And I go about, I'm going to put two in each one, and I just poke it down about an inch. And then it kind of fell in there. I've pre-soaked my soil just like I normally do. with a potty or with a, when I do a regular potty mix. Kind of make it a mess here. That's okay. It's part of the fun of the gardening. 
making a mess. All right, I think I got them all. And you just stick them in there about an inch down and you just, and then you can water them in. And make sure you label your pots. That's the, that's the longest part is labeling the pots. We just, um, my boyfriend and I just did about 300 tomato plants this morning. It took us about three hours to do them. And it's the labeling that takes the longest. But it's a necessary thing because you got to know what you have. So there's the crimson sweet and I think we're going to just um, keep on going with the rest of them. All right guys, I got these 14 started, uh, potted up and you got to see it in this video. That's a good start. I'll get the rest of these done here in a few minutes once we finish the video that I have soaked here. And so basically the steps were soak your seeds for about half an hour to an hour. That allows the seeds to soften a little bit. They'll germinate faster. I used a seed starting mix as well as pine soil. I mixed them together that way because these grow so fast and the plants are sturdier, they will, um, the seed starting mix only supports a plant for so long because there's not much nutrients in it, then the pines mix will support them longer. Once they have a two sets of true leaves, that's when you can start them with a low fertilizer, low dose of fertilizer once a week. And so that's how I do, how I do my vine crops. It's worked for me for the all along. And I do go ahead and give them a little shot of water at the end before I put them up tonight. Thanks guys uh, for watching. If you learned something, go ahead and share it with your friends. Um, drop some comments in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. See you next time.